Hi everyone, this is the last video, video number three. Let's go further, let's solve these problems here and finish our practice for our last assessment, okay? And starting this thing here, it's easy, just determine the domain of the function. To determine the domain of the function, you need to check where we have problems. And to see problems, it's in the denominator. Why denominator, mister? Because it's where I have I have one restriction, never can be zero. And when this number here is zero, two options we have. When this is positive one, because one is square is one, one minus one is zero, that is a problem. And another problem is negative one, because negative one is square is one positive, one minus one is zero. I cannot have denominator equal zero, okay? Then my domain is, all real numbers, all real numbers, but the number cannot be one or negative one. Okay? Let's go number two. Sketch the function x to the sixth power. Guys, we did this many, many times, okay? Six power means I have a parabola because it's even number opens up because it's positive great and how does it looks like well let's go here this direction it's exactly like this and remember it's a six power it's like i have one two three four five six and go up here great determine whether g of x is invertible explain your reasoning or not guys remember the Horizontal line test, we did in the previous video. Yep, yep, yep. It passed the test. Nope. Is invertible? Nope. Not invertible. Why? Because not pass the horizontal line test. Horizontal line test, okay? Let's go number three. Number three is algebraically the term if they are inverse. Okay, show your work. Guys, we did this before. It's just right. Y equals three, four, X plus two. Solve for X, okay? Then that's solve for X here. Plus two, opposite side minus two. Y minus 2 equals 3 fourths X. The opposite to 3 fourths is multiplied by 4 thirds. Then it will be 4 thirds Y minus 2 times 4, 8 minus 8 thirds equals X. Just switch position X and Y. This is like this. It's the same. Nope. Not the same, then not, they're not inverse. Okay, they're not inverse. As you see here, it's totally different than my answer. Okay, number four, given P of X equals two to the X power and T of X is three P X plus one plus seven. Describe the transformation. Guys, first thing here, this inside the parentheses, plus one. Remember I told in the previous video, when it's x change, is the opposite direction. Plus one, then one to the left. One unit left. Okay? This plus seven. Oh, this plus seven is up and down. Then seven units up. This is easy. This multiply by three. Okay, remember it's a stretch or the opposite. Okay, make it smaller. Look here, if I multiply by 3, the function is vertically stretched. Vertically stretched. By factor 3. How do I check that? 
putting calculator, decimals, math papa, whatever you see, you will see those change. But if you're putting that in calculator, you have calculated the data of assessment, you can check that, okay? If it's a stretch or a compress, great. It's a vertically stretched, this one here, okay? If it is multiplied by two, it will be inside there, like inside the parentheses, as you see, then will be a horizontal stretch, okay? But let's go. B, write an x as an exponential function. It's just write this x plus 1 to the power of the thing. Then here is this, t of x equals 3 times, because multiplied by 3, my p of x is 2 to the x power, but my x is not x anymore. Now it's x plus 1. Plus 1 plus 7. That's it. Okay, let's go next. Uh, consider the function 16x to the third. Determine the domain and range. The domain is our real number. Don't have a restriction here. Our real number. Okay, no problem here. The domain and range both. I don't have a problem here. They go both directions. Remember, it's like a third power function. Okay? No problem. Write the inverse function. We did this many times. Just solve for the opposite. When you solve for the opposite, or not solve here, it's just like y equals 16x to the third. Divide it by 16 and solve this. You've got the answer will be y equals a half third root x divided by 2. This is the inverse. Okay? And the domain range for this inverse function. Do you see any problem here in the denominator? No, no problem. And looks like, if I put this in calculator, I can see both directions. Then domain range also our real number. No problem. Uh, number 6. The function here describe the transformation of this guy here. Guys, the main function is 3 to the x power. What is the change there? It's minus 1 to the power. x is minus 1. Remember, when x is the negative, is the opposite direction. Then 1 unit to the right. 1 unit right. Write the inverse. Again, just... Right as is no, and here is you start to use log a b c a c b, okay? It's like y equals three x to minus one, a b c a c b. Great, and just will be log three x minus one. Okay, x minus one. That's the inverse, okay? And y equals. Uh, the transformation of this guy here, uh, right now, as you see, the transformation of this guy here, this minus one here is outside. Then I go one unit down. One unit down. Okay, because this negative one here. Nice. Let's go here. And the Richter scale, okay, the, the earthquake, we did many problems about that, you remember. I will not expand time to explain this stuff here. We just go back and you will see, but this A here, the answer, the solving this, using the equation, everything you just read and go over this thing, you got a 7,943 times more intense, the Chilean earthquake to the San Francisco earthquake. Okay, and the Haitian earthquake is the same thing. You just compare the two equations. Just apply the equation, the intensity. You got it. You will see this thing here will be eight point forty eight. Okay, eight point forty eight. And let's go over here. Next one, number eight, will be end of topic review. The number eight, simple answer here. Log four five. Oops, 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 oops. Let's go here. Estimate log 4 5 to the nearest tenth place. Explain your reasoning. Let's go here. The first one. To estimate, guys, I just taught you, book up later, alpha, 
window option six if i'm not sure, I'm sure. option five or six just check but i think it's option whatever you just check okay i don't remember now but the log here you just go log four five you'll see nearest tenth this will see use 1.1 1 .1. okay this one here next one number nine is the same thing a b c a c b okay 10 n equals 10,000. I will not explain again. We did so many times this stuff here. you just be able to go over. Okay? This one here, n equals 4, n equals 9, n equals negative 6, and n equals 3 halves. Okay? Number 10. Just expand. Okay? If you don't remember, remember next to my room over there, next to the that you'll see the properties of logarithms, okay? When is power is multiplied? When is multiplied to is addition? I would just write the answer key here. It's 2 log 4 x plus 5 log y plus log, oh, log 4, okay? Log 4. Z. That's it. This guy here. Multiply, addition, divide, subtraction. Then would be log 2 plus uh, 6 log A minus 3 log B. Here, this guy. Multiply 55. Then log 3, 55. Log, uh, plus 2 log r so remember to hear 3 base 3 plus log 3 s plus 8 log t d also easy is 3 ln a minus ln 2 minus 4 ln b oops ln b 11 is the opposite okay you just write everything as one log will be log 2 x divided by y to the 4 here ln a to the 10 power divided by uh, 6b squared. Here uh, is just 10 log x is x to the 10 power log parenthesis. Oh, yeah, because I have log x here, we just subtract 10 minus 4 would be 6, then x to the 6 power divided by 16 and here last one will be log 2 and x square y third 12 solve each exponential equation round your answer to the nearest hundredth guys we did many times this thing here i will not solve or not show the steps if you're just stuck come my room whatever just solve by log here this first one here x is approximately 3.71 nearest hundredth and b here x is approximately negative 1.55 13 last one road problem just read solve the problem apply in the equation just put the 7.5 in the t here in the equation you will got it the growth too. Uh, it will take approximately, oh, just write 500, and then here will be 500 equals 40 times 1.40, and you will find t equals 7.5 years. Okay? A thousand birds just equal 1,000, and t will be 9.6 years. Okay? And that's it. We finish.
our video. If you have any question, please let me know. Okay? Good luck in the assessment. Bye-bye.